What is up, sexies? Welcome to my channel. My name is Epic Chris, and today I'm bringing you my first ever Assault Moab on Model for 3. It's pretty beast if you ask me. I'm using the Scar L, I believe. Yeah, the Scar, that's how you say it, right? Scar L? Yeah, doesn't really matter. But I'm using that gun. Um, I guess tips for going for Assault Moabs definitely run Assassin. You need to run Assassin because since you don't get the specialist bonus, um, you're just kind of like um, at a disadvantage when you're using like something like quick draw or like hardline because if they call in UAV, they know where you're at. They could just go find you and they just kill you. And you know, it's just uh, you're just a lot more safer if you um, are a lot safer. You're just a lot safer if you run assassin because they can't really track you. And you know, assassin has great perks, so just use it. Um, use sleight of hand as well because scavengers just makes you that much slower. Or at least I think it's like a placebo effect or something. I don't know. But like when I put on assassin, I mean I, when I put up sleight of hand I feel a lot faster when I move and stuff it's, it's weird so uh, run sleight of hand assassin those are the two perks that I really recommend in, in order for going for uh, salt moab so uh, and by the way use score streaks that are that like will that are easy to get for you like uh, predator missile AH6 overwatch and uh, hey blue I wouldn't recommend like a reaper or anything because you have like more time inside the reaper and you know you, you might waste time and just like not get that many gun streak kills so just run an H6 Overwatch or Payload or whatever. Just something you could go use like on the move, you know. That's, that's basically what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And before I start this commentary, let me give a shout out to Kill13HD. Now this guy, I like I like his channel a lot. I like his content. He puts out a lot of entertaining gameplay. I just saw like a 78-0 nuclear on his channel, which was pretty entertaining. He has good commentaries as well. He also does Minecraft, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not really a big fan of Minecraft, but... <laughs> by watching his videos I'm kind of like in the in the mood for Minecraft and I might be posting more Minecraft on my channel who knows but um, go check him out his link will be in the description below he's a fantastic channel I really enjoy his content so go check him out and every time I shout out someone know from the bottom of my heart like I truly mean what I say about his channels if I see a channel that's not really that uh, good and not like into it not motivated for their channel I won't be sharing their channels but but this guy he puts out a lot of entertaining gameplay content and um so just go check him out, guys. He, he's a really good player. So, um, and yeah, that's basically, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, on my channel, I'm doing something where I look for small commentators who want to get shared. More exposure on YouTube. I just uh, group with them and share channels with each other. Uh, if you guys want to know more, if you guys have questions, leave a comment in the comment section below or message me on YouTube, and I'll be happy to get, I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. But um, yeah, guys, let's get into the commentary today. Now, I might be doing this regularly. Um, I'm going to start off every commentary with a question. You guys can leave your answers or comments in the comment section below. But today's question is, if a guy that was about to die in the electric chair had a heart attack, should they save him? And obviously, the people uh, in the death penalty electric chair think he would... That's what I'm talking about. Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. But should they save him? Now, um, you guys can leave your answers and comments in the comment section below. And the reason why I bring up this question is because it's a topic. It's a topic that I want to talk about, which is the death penalty. So I know a lot of commentators have been talking about the death penalty. I know like a like a lot of commentators talk about the death penalty. Um, I really can't name a few, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have in uh, on YouTube talk about the death penalty. But to kind of give, I kind of want to give my own point of view on it. I want to talk about what I think is better than the death penalty. What I want to like, what I think is a solution. So the death penalty, like. There's okay. It's kind of a weird topic to talk about um, to some people because some people are have morals and some people don't have morals. Some people with like the people with non morals would be all like, yeah, yeah, kill him because he deserves it, and like, no, it doesn't matter if you take a life or whatever. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking to the point of view of pers of a person with with morals, you know. So if you have no morals, you don't care about people and their lives or whatever and blah, blah, and stuff like that, then um, the death penalty will be all right for you. But, for example, a guy like, like me who has morals, believes God can only is the only person that should take a life, then there's other solutions. I definitely disagree with the death penalty. I don't, I'm not with it at all. I don't really um, think taking a life on another person is the solution to, uh, to someone who just did something bad. Because if you kill someone because they just want to murder this rampage and kill like 100 people, then you're basically doing what he did. You're going to their level, and it's just not right. It's just not like the solution. That's not what you're supposed to be doing, you know. Now, what my solution, what I think the solution might be um, for me, like if everybody, if, if there was world peace, if there was like a few crimes here and there, if the world was ruled by Epicris, my solution would be, okay, if someone killed someone, say he killed 36 people, all right, 
murderous rampage. He just killed like a shit ton of people. He was just out of control. You know, he had to be put down, right? People were like, "Oh man, he has to die. He has to go to. He has to. We have to end this." You know. The only way I feel that you should end a person's um, bad doings would be by punishing them, or by sorts of like torture. Not really torture, but like. Okay, for example, a guy just went on a 36 um, murderous rampage, you know, he just went on a nuclear gun streak, you know, that, that's not really funny, but I'm sorry I said that joke. But anyways, he just went on a, a tear, like on a fucking, he killed like a shit ton of people with families, you know, they had lives, they had sons and daughters and shit like that, you know, most people would say, you don't kill him, you know, he just, he just ruined a, hundred, a whole bunch of people's lives, you know, that sucks, that's a horrible thing to do. But the best thing I would, I, I would do if I was like in charge of everything he killed 36 people, whatever arm he killed 36 people with, I would chop off that arm and amputate it. Not only would I amputate his arm, but I would amputate his legs as well, because if he's immobile, he can't do that ever again. And the point is to not kill them, end the life, you know, end with the, with his, end his life with his uh, destructive um, past, you know, he just killed like a 30, 36 people. Don't end his life with that, you know, because... I believe everybody has a chance in life. If you make a mistake, I believe you can make up for it anyway. Anyhow, you know, do not end his life with his legacy being him killing 36 people. No, amputate his legs, you know, make him deal with the pain for life. That will be his punishment, you know. Do not take away God's um, power by taking away a life. Do not take away a life, no. Amputate him, make him deal with that suffering, pain and suffering for the rest of his life. That's the choice he made. That's what he chose to make. If there was no cell, like there was no jails, no prisons, the best thing to do would be to just um, amputate his legs, amputate his arm, you know, because that would make him immobile, immobile. He won't be able to do that ever again. You know, that's the true solution. And, you know, during his life, when he, he deals with all that pain and suffering without his legs, without his arms, you know, he could rethink his life. He could make himself, he could make himself a better person, you know. He could think about, you know, well, I fucked up, but maybe I could do it again. Like, I won't, uh, maybe I could make my life up again and I won't just kill people anymore, you know. Stuff like that, you know. So I think the best solution, if there was no jails, there was no uh, prisons or anything, the best thing I would do, or the best solution would be to just chop off his legs, chop off his arms because that would make him immobile. And for example, if a guy raped people, like he raped like 100 people in a row or whatever, you know, he was on a rape, like rampage or whatever, the best solution would be to chop off his testicles, you know, or maybe squish them with a, a brick. I heard like ancient Romans used to do that shit. Um, you know, why not do it, do it um, to them, you know, they ch like get a gigantic brick, you know, it might be painful as fuck, but you know, he deserves it. He had it coming. And, you know, that's just the best solution to, like, punish them, you know, make them hurt and make them, um, you know, mobile or whatever. But, um, and in the case of death, like, when you're, like, murdering someone for the case of someone else's life, for example, if, like, a murder has your, your children hostage, you know, and you have, and you're right in front of them with a gun, would it be okay to kill them? I don't know. Leave your comments and your, like, questions or your answers in the comment section below. Is it right to kill someone if he has... One of your loved ones hostage. Like, if you're with a gun and you're with someone and you're like, he's like holding your kids hostage, what is the best thing to do? Kill him? Like, if you're against like killing people, like, is that the best thing to do? Personally, for me, um, I would, I think it would be okay because it's my loved ones. I want to save them. I don't want them to die. So, um, I, it's kind of hard for me to say, but I kind of would be okay with shooting him. If, if anything, I would shoot him in like in the. In the arm where he has his gun or something, you know, shoot him where he's immobile. But um, definitely shoot at the guy if he has your loved ones hostage. But anyways, guys, kind of interesting topic to talk about. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, if you guys want to put your like input or whatever, leave a comment in the comment section below. Hopefully, you enjoyed my commentary. Hopefully, you enjoyed my gameplay. Leave a like, rating, rate the video, share it, subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.